Okay, so now we're ready to start assembling. Before we start the assembly, there's one thing I forgot to show you with the wheel. We need to put a work plane on the wheel, and this is how this works. You need to click on the work axis button, work axis, and then click on the outside of the one little peg, and you'll see this work axis shows up here, and the inside of this one, and oh, I have to do a second time. Oh, no, there I've got it. So I've got my two, and then I click on plane, and once I click on plane, I click on one axis, then I click on the other axis, and that creates this work plane, and then I'm going to save that. Okay, you'll need that in order to get the train to run, uh, and that'll work out fine. Okay, so that being done, so now we want to open, we want new, and we want a standard IAM. That's our assembly, standard IAM. Okay, then we click on place. And the first thing I'm going to bring in, I got these all together at least, is my train body. Double click on my train body. That's gonna go right there. Right click, done. Okay, that you wanna bring that in first. Now, and then, uh, I click place and I'm going to bring in my wheel only now I want one two three four just click each time right click done and I'm just going to bring everything in you can do it one at a time because the first thing I'm going to constrain are the wheels but let me bring in the linkage and I need two of those right click done I need my stack one of those I need the little link pins those are little I need four of those and my bigger ones there train bag one, two, three, four. Okay, that's everything that I need. I'm going to start, so I'm going to be doing constraints. Most of the constraints I do are going to be one we haven't done before. It's called the insert, and that's this one right here. So I click on insert, okay, and I think I want this one. Let me check. We'll see as we do these. Now I'm going to rotate around. I need to be clicking. I need to click on the back of my wheel because I'm going to click the back of my wheel when I see that right there and then go back to the front and click on this. Oh, turned it around. Okay, so that's not what I want. Okay, let me try that again. Let's try it with insert and try that one. If I click on this. on this that's the one I want okay so I click apply after that it goes pretty fast I just do that to all four wheels and apply and these wheels I'm actually going to cancel this because I want to uh, rotate if I could find it dang it these have all Hmm. Don't see it. Okay, I'm gonna see if it'll work. Let's try it. If I do it from the back of it, I'm not sure if it will or not. If I come in here and I do this, oops, I want this. So I do that, and that. It did, it flipped it around, awesome. I always have to click apply after each constraint. So I click that one. And I got that. So I got my four wheels. And what we're going to do is actually, we're gonna, I'm going to get them so they all turn together. Watch this. I use this one. This is the angle constraint. I click on the angle constraint and I click on, when I click on this, see how I got that arrow? I click that one and I click, oops, I shouldn't have. 
me try that again. Click on angle, that one. Oh, I'm not getting, I'm sorry. I'm not getting my, and I keep forgetting to click it. Let's try it. Once I get going here, we'll be okay. That one, that one, apply. And what that now does is they turn together. So then I go to my other side. Oh, I lost the wheel. Okay, not good. Let's see if we can do this again. I'm just doing this as I go here. I don't want to have to do this twice. Okay. Click apply. Work plane. Got to make sure you highlight it right so that it's actually colored. Oh, that was a thing. You want to have this front one. When you do the angle constraint, you want to click this one here because you want that one there. I think it did with the one, but now with the other, so now that's good. Click apply. I'm also going to do this one and this one and apply. And what I now have is, if I turn a little bit, you'll be able to see that as they go, they all turn together. Pretty cool. All right, now I'm ready to do the rest of my stuff here. Let's do constrain and insert and I want to get that and I needed to get it with the underside of the pins. You got to do some rotating around because it's got to be like that otherwise it won't work. And then I do that one. That one and apply. Go to my other side, that one, that one, and apply, that one, and apply. Okay, um, so now I need to put these on. These are a little, little different. You have to do two different ones. One of them is the insert, but you got to get the right thing. I want to insert that part there, the back part where you see, with that, and you can see, oh, forgot to apply it. That's the thing. You got, got to make sure that you apply every time. Otherwise, it won't take it. That one, and that one, and apply. And you'll see that's now attached. But I can't do an insert here. It won't work. What I have to do instead is I do a tangent. So I tangent constraint. I click the outside of this one and the inside of that one. Oops, but I got to do that one. So let's uh, cancel it and do it again because I need to do tangent. And I want to do this one. Now when I do it, that and that and now apply. And that's all locked on there. Let me drag, let me cancel and get this one over to the other side so I can get to it. And we'll do the same thing again. Constrain, insert that to that one there and apply. Looks like it's already there, but it's not. So I got a constraint, tangent, this one, inside, outside, apply. I got these little guys, kind of a pain. I need to put them in there. That is going into that hole. That going there. And that is going there. And the last one. Oh, I gotta rotate over. 
that one. It's gonna go right there. Apply. Last thing I got is my smokestack. That also is an insert. I need to get the bottom of that one. And that's gonna go to this second thing right here. Oh no, it's gonna go to the bottom one so that they will touch like that. Apply here. Cancel. Choo choo with all my wheels turning. Awesome. Make sure I save that. All right. I'm going to stop it right here and then we're going to do another one on how to set the drive constraints. But that takes a little bit, so I'll stop that right now.